Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at X-Plane 11's user profile function. This function allows you to assign different operations to your existing controls per aircraft. Let's take an example. For the purpose of our tutorial today we are going to be considering the default Cessna 172. The Cessna 172 is a single engine general aviation aircraft equipped with a throttle and mixture control. Let us take a look at the current joystick assignment. For the purposes of our tutorial today we are going to be considering the HOTUS Werthog throttle and joystick. However, the learnings in this tutorial apply to any keyboard button or flight control. Okay. So we have the current um, throttle here, number three is doing nothing, or item number three, uh, engine two throttle. The engine number one controls all the throttles, and we have this control here um, controlling the elevator trim. Now this setup is not exactly useful for this uh, type of aircraft, and the nice thing about X-Plane 11 is that it allows you to change the different operations of each one of these controls and keyboard buttons. So let's make a um, let's make a change here but the first thing here you'll notice that you have the active profile here indicating the current profile being applied globally and then we have manage profiles. If we click here we are able to create a new profile. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on create new profile and we're going to call this profile the Cessna C172. Okay, C172. And we're going to say done. Now we're going to assign the elevator trim, this one here, to the mixture control. So we're going to select mixture. Okay. And we're going to head over to the joystick here. And let's see here, those two buttons here. So it's uh, button number three here. Uh, currently set to do nothing. Uh, this is the button on the hat switch. So let's go ahead and set the um, upper movement to uh, let's say flaps up or let's actually set this as the trim. So pitch trim up uh, will be this one here. Uh, pitch trim up. Apply. And the down position of the same control, control number three, we're going to set to pitch trim down. So we're going to say custom, edit, and pitch trim. Pitch trim down, apply, and done. All right. So now if I move the control, as you can see here, this is the... Um, the control on the side of the uh, switch, as you can see now, I can control the mixture and I can control the throttle. And if we use the buttons that we've assigned, we can now trim up and down, as you can see. Okay, so this is now applied to this specific aircraft. So if we go to manage profiles and we scroll down here to the Cessna, as you can see here, the Cessna Skyhawk is set to the Cessna 172 profile and this is now the active profile um, in X-Plane 11. But what if we want to assign the same profile to this Cessna Skyhawk? So we're going to set it here to the Cessna 172 and we're going to say done and you're pretty much done. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to the user profile. This is the global user profile now and we're going to go and load the uh, Cessna Skyhawk with the Garmin 1000 device and we're going to say new. We have now loaded the Cessna Skyhawk with the uh, Garmin 1000 device and if you click here as you can see now you have the active profile automatically loaded for this aircraft. Now let me switch back to another aircraft where we don't have um, a specific profile. Uh, let's say we're going to select this one here, start new flight. So if we go now to the settings, as you can see, the active profile is the user profile now. Here is a summary of what we have learned in this tutorial. In order to create specific user profiles to use with your preferred aircraft, follow these steps. First, go to settings, then go to joystick, 
Then go to Manage Profiles. Once you click on Manage Profiles, you are able to create a new profile. Click on Create New Profile, give it a name. We're going to say, for example, Boeing 727. And now we have the 727 user profile created. We're going to say Done. And then you can make all the assignments that you want, uh, whether it is the flight control or the keyboard. And you can select whether you want to do it just for the plugins that are provided, only the currently assigned controls, the essential controls, or all the controls. Once you are through assigning the different operations to your keyboard and joystick controls, you can head to Manage Profiles and assign the newly created profile to the aircraft. In this example, we can come here and select the B727. Remember, when you load this aircraft the next time, it will automatically pick up the new user profile created and assigned to this specific aircraft. Well, folks, this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope that this was an informative and useful video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.